here we have so many lip glosses and lip oils. For this declutter today, I wanted to focus specifically on these two types of lip items. And this is not including like a lip balm or a liquid lip balm or even like those gloss sticks. We're talking more of these kind of classic lip glosses and lip oils. But if you'd like to see me declutter those items in my collection, I am happy to do that. I'm going to be speed reviewing and giving you guys swatches of all of the items I have here. I hope this video ends up being really helpful so that you guys can kind of get a better idea of what formula is going to work best for you. And if you guys appreciate that, if you enjoy it, uh, definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more. If you really love a good comparison, you are definitely in the right place. Let's first start off with the In Beauty Glaze. This is one of their lip oils. Now, I thought that this would be a really good place to start for us today because I consider this to be a formula that's something in between a lip oil and a lip gloss. It has a really big, juicy applicator. The texture is something between a lip oil and a lip gloss. It has the shine, I think, of a lip gloss, the way it kind of fills in the lines of the lips, but it's just not quite as sticky as some lip glosses can be. This feels hydrating and it kind of feels enveloping on the lips. I love, personally, a lip gloss, guys, that can really fill in the lines of my lips. I tend to lean towards lip products that fill in the lines of the lips. They're going to stay where I want them rather than really, really lightweight lip products that might slip around and get outside of my lip lines. I think honestly, it's from when I was a teenager. Um, I do have acne prone skin and just the idea of a lip oil or an oil getting outside like on my chin or on my lips for me, just like for me, and even now I think this is true, it just makes me break out. So it's just kind of an association I have, I think. But anyway, this is just to say, if you are looking for a great lip oil, lip gloss in general, something that is going to give you this gorgeous cherry pop, this is absolutely one of my favorites. And I think the price point is great. So I will be keeping this. By the way, um, a note on my nails. So I think you guys probably know that I've been kind of growing out my natural nails and I am absolutely in love with, with my Dior Nail Glow. And if you just want like a light French manicure in a bottle, that is still my favorite. But I did try this illuminating polish recently. I'll leave it linked down below. It's a little bit, you know, more light than the Dior Nail Glow, but it's really pretty. Um, I'm really digging it. So I wanted to quickly mention that for you guys. Let us move forward. So this is the NARS Afterglow Lip Gloss in the shade Aragon. So I do have another one of the shades, kind of like a brown shade. I gotta tell you, this is one of the most lightweight lip glosses that makes the lips look so soft. I don't know how it does it necessarily because typically with a lip gloss this lightweight, I don't expect it to make my lips look as plush as this does, but it is, oh, beautiful. And I just love this shade. This kind of shade I find is just, you know, looks really good on me and kind of complements my features. I think that this is um, a very, very beautiful lip gloss formula. And you guys will come to find, I mean, I love lip glosses. I love lip oils in general but a lot of formulas are kind of redundant. This is a standout for sure. So I'm going to be keeping this. Now, if you are looking for a brown lip gloss or lip oil, this from Amicole is the lip oil in the shade Excellence, I believe. It's not on here, but I think it's the shade Excellence. I will 100% be picking up another one of these sometime soon. It is just so good, you guys. It's exactly what I look for in a lip oil because it feels balmy, it feels nourishing, it, it gives you that water droplet effect and you're going to be hearing me talk a lot about that on my channel. I think 
probably around four years ago, I started using that term because I realized that is exactly what I look for. I look for that full water droplet, every line of the lips kind of filled in look because I do have pretty chronically dry lips and this gives that to me. I think it's one of the best lip oils I have ever tried hands down. It's more balmy than something like the one from In Beauty. So if you want something that leans balmier, go with the Amicole. If you want something that leans a little bit more gloss-like, I would go with the In Beauty. Perfect. And yeah, I, I would like more shades. Another favorite I have here is from Clinique. Clinique Black Honey. You know, everyone loves Clinique Black Honey, the almost lipstick. This, I think, is the unsung hero and kind of like the hidden gem. I think that this is even better. It is one of the most romantic colors I've ever seen on the lips. You know, it just has that kind of, I'm still not trying and kind of thing about it. I love a color like this because it adds the romance and that touch of like a drama, again, without being a statement lip necessarily. The formula is really beautiful. I do find that it's much thinner than most lip glosses. I do not like a really pigmented gloss, so you will find that throughout this video that that's not what I lean towards, but this one is just, ugh, it's a hidden gem in my opinion. More people should try it out. I think, I think it's just absolutely beautiful. Next we have the Clarins Lip Oil. So this is actually, it looks like it would be a very similar color, but they are quite different. I'll give you guys swatches just so you can see, but this is the shade Chocolate from Clarins. An absolutely stunning lip oil and perfect for those of you that really want that classic lip oil texture. You know the lip oils that feel like oils? Um, something that kind of sinks into the lips. If you like that, you will like this. And honestly, I typically don't reach for something like that, but I still find myself reaching for this. Um, I much prefer this formula. Um, they did reformulate the lip oils. You can see that there is just way more um, warmth to this compared to Clinique Black Honey. So even though you might think, oh, those look kind of similar in the bottles, no, they're they're quite different. Clarins Lip Oil, I haven't been talking about scents, so I apologize about that. Um, I'll start doing that. Just a very nice fruity scent. It used to be rose, which I think is kind of polarizing for most people. And the Clinique Black Honey does not smell like anything. I don't think there's any fragrance in here. These two lip products smell like vanilla and the In Beauty smells like Twizzlers, which I really, really like. These ones from EXA are also a really good option. I love this shade, the shade Seeker. It's like the Clarins with just a touch more heft to it. Really great applicator very light fruity kind of scent and i just really enjoy these shades there's also a really pretty cherry shade that i have around here but look at that if you have not been able to find like a sparkly kind of lip oil this one is for you it's the shade dreamer it's just this gorgeous iridescent it'll just give you these really pretty kind of champagne sparkles to your lip look. These are great, I really like these. You can get um, EXA at uh, Credo and I will leave everything that I'm talking about uh, linked down below for you guys or I'm going to try to, I'll do my best because there's just so much to talk about. But yeah, I'm gonna try and make it as easy as possible for you guys and I'm going to be keeping those. I wanna get into some stuff that I'm going to declutter though. Oh, here are a couple more of the EXA. I have the shade Lover. What a shade for spring. You do have to kind of go in a couple of times with this uh, doe foot. It just doesn't pick up as much product as I would like, but that is such a pretty soft pink. And then one of my favorites is this cherry shade, which is Optimist. This is a cherry lip oil, baby. For me, I'm just like, you can never go wrong with like a pretty cherry lip. Like it, it's always going to look pretty. I think that the Revlon, the super lustrous glosses are so underrated. I've really enjoyed these for a while, but I think it's time to get rid of some of them just because I have so much here. I will be keeping this beautiful shade Fatal Apple, the shade 240. It, it's staying, it's, it's beautiful. Um, the formula is really nice because it's glossy, but it's not, 
overly sticky. It's definitely more of a medium weight gloss. So if you like something really hefty, this is probably not for you. I think it's perfect. Um, I'm definitely keeping this shade. I already know that it's one of my favorites. I think a shade that I can probably pass along is this one. It's the shade Blissed Out. It is like a pink with like a shimmer throughout, which is really pretty. I mean, if you are looking for something, you know, similar to something like Fussy from Fenty, from the Fenty line, I think that this could be a good way to go. Very pretty. I just am not reaching for it. I don't think I've worn it in at least a year or so. That will be my first declutter. I also think I can probably declutter, ugh, I, I gotta tell you, Solar Coral is gorgeous. I mean, it's gonna be difficult to pass along because look at that. You know what, I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm not going to. I knew this declutter was going to be difficult for me because I just, I really, really love glosses. 270 Indulge In It from Revlon it has a little more pigment. You can see it's more of like a cream gloss. I think I'm gonna go ahead, hmm, I don't think I can part with that one. Okay, then that means I need to, I'm gonna pass along the clear even though I really love the clear, but I have plenty of clear glosses. But just gonna tell you, if you want an affordable clear gloss that is not sticky, hydrating, pretty, the super lustrous is the way to go. And I'm also going to declutter Rosy Future. It is a really, it's another one of those shades that's just very reminiscent of the ones from Fenty. Super, super pretty. I don't reach for shimmery lip products a ton. I just know myself. It really just depends on like my mood, but okay. So I'm going to pass this along. I'm going to be passing along this sheer shiny lip from Ulta, the shade Rosé. And what does this smell like? Just kind of a, a little bit, honestly, a little bit like kids antibiotics. <laughs> you guys know that smell from like when I was a kid, I kind of remember it. Um, there's nothing really wrong with it. I just don't reach for it. I think it could be better. Actually in the light, I'm noticing there's kind of a blue sparkle to it that I never noticed before. So that's kind of interesting, but yeah, I'm not reaching for it much at all. So I can, so I can definitely pass this along. Shall we talk Fenty because I have so many Fenty glosses. I'm going to organize them by formula. First of all, I have these two minis, Cake Shake and Ruby Milk. I'm pretty sure these are like limited edition. I think that they're both really pretty. I mean, that is just such a nice everyday gloss, super fresh. If anything, I think Ruby is uh, just a little bit more different. So pretty. I think I'm going to keep Ruby Milk and I'm going to pass along Cake Shake. Now, two clear glosses. There is not a huge difference between these um, except for the Fenty Ice just has a little bit more of that icy tingle to it. It smells like peppermint. This is what I, I, I think my lips look even bigger when I have Fenty Ice. So I'm going to keep Fenty Ice and then I'm going to declutter a glass slipper. It's a very basic kind of clear gloss. Nothing wrong with it, but there are others that are just as good. I would recommend some of Fenty's other lip products um, over this if you're gonna spend the money. I'm also going to declutter these two, Baby, Brute, and Taffy Tees. I just, I don't reach for them, so someone else can get more use out of them. And let's see, I'm going to keep all three of these Fenty Heat. I think they're freaking stunning. So the original Hot Cherry smells like that plumper cherry shade. I think it's still one of my favorite lip plumpers. It's kind of, um, it definitely leans in the lip oil territory if you do want a lip oil, like it has quite a thinner formula. Fenty Heat Hot Chocolate is, it's worth the hype in my opinion. I just love that cool toned um, brown with that touch of berry. It It's it's amazing. I, I truly, truly recommend it. So I'm going to keep both of these. And then I also have Fenty Glow here. Fenty Glow is a beautiful shade. It's just a little bit warmer. So if you want more of like a chocolatey 
brown, I would go with this, but if you want more of that cool brown, I would go with hot chocolate. I also have Fenty hot chocolate, like the original. I'm not positive where it is because I'm not seeing it here. And by the way, if there's a lip product, you're like, Amanda, I thought you had this lip product and I'm not talking about it. Just know that's why I'm doing these declutter videos because I can't find anything around here. I'm going to be keeping these as like library items at this point. I don't reach for them a lot, but these are like shades that I feel the need to reference, especially a shade like Fussy from Fenty and of course the iconic Fenty Glow, which I still think is one of the best glosses. And I know a lot of people feel a certain way when I say this, but I do think that Fenty played a huge role in the revitalization of a glossy lip because for so long everyone was into a matte lip and I think that uh, Fenty coming out with these impeccable shades, um, a formula that's not like crazy different necessarily, just a good solid formula, I think it really made waves. So keeping these almost kind of as library items um, and if you're new, if you haven't heard of like the makeup library, essentially it's products that I need to reference for you all. And Fenty Glow, the cream, you can see this shade is a little bit different than the Fenty Glow original shade. Um, it's just a little bit pinkier, still very pretty. I think the Fenty Heat and the original Fenty just really, really classically pretty. All right, let's start putting in here the products I know I'm keeping. Okay, those will be over there for now. Let's move forward. I gotta tell you, as far as Tom Ford goes, it's really hit or miss for me, like truly. This is one of the best Tom Ford products I've tried. So this is the shade Exquiz. It really feels like not the right way to say it, but I really want the shade Phantom. I'm, I'm probably going to be picking that up um, during the Sephora Savings event, but this, it's just something different in my opinion. It kind of feels to me like a watercolor lip balm mixed with like a lip oil. Like it, it has so much pigment and I typically don't like that, but the way it just creates this plushness and this youthfulness, it is what I expect from a luxury brand. A product that is going to give me something different that feels not like, you know, a repackaged drugstore formula with a higher price tag. Like this is doing something different and trying to achieve a different look that feels really luxury. And that's not to say that like drugstore can't feel luxury. Also, I'm very aware of the luxury beauty that does not deliver. And those products piss me off way more than the drugstore products that I don't enjoy. So what I'm trying to say is that this is kind of this hybrid formula. Folks that want kind of that lip oil mixed with lip balm, mixed with lip gloss texture with more pigment, and you like that moisture, you really need moisture. Like your, your lips are craving it. This is something I would definitely recommend. So we'll be keeping also it, the packaging and it does make it feel pretty special. Two products I can declutter. The Balmy Gloss Tinted Lip Oil from Ilia. I don't even know if I've used this. This is definitely way more of like a traditional lip oil texture. So if you're into that, you'll like this. I just, I don't need another kind of sample of something like this. I have a few of this kind of formula that I already like. So passing that along and also this is old guys, but I used to love this. It is, it's something from Bite Beauty. I mean, how long have they even been out? They've, they've been out for a while. So I think that can finally go. I'm also going to be decluttering this Jouer Essential Hydrating Lip Oil because it smells like roses and I don't like that very much. Not much color to this. The formula is not bad. Just I'm not a fan of that rosy floral scent. By the way, the one from Tom Ford smells like the most decadent buttercream you've ever smelt. Like, you know, most lip products smell like vanilla, I feel like at this point, right? That smells like freaking expensive vanilla bean. Like it, it's insane. I, I don't know how you can make vanilla even more luxurious than they have. It, it's very, very nice. I think I'm finally going to let go of this minted gloss because I don't know if you can see, it's 
it's kind of separating and really nice formula though a little bit on the creamier side if that's what you're looking for all right let's talk let's talk dior so i have the dior lip oils i have a lip maximizer in i think this is this is 012 i want to say it's rosewood i'm not positive um 012 is that shade and then i also have another dior lip product that it doesn't have the freaking name on it i think this is being discontinued so i'm gonna start here and we'll declutter this even though it's more of their like lip balmy kind of textured lip products um i think it's beautiful um i guess it just didn't gain traction the way the lip oils did but i think this has way more shine than the lip oils and it kind of it fills in the lip lines a little bit more it, it lasts a little bit longer um very pretty but i will be passing along just because you know you guys can't really get it so i'm gonna be less likely to want to talk about it the classic lip maximizer gloss is very pretty i mean it's just a great subtle sweet lip plumper the formula is very enveloping i actually really like that this is more of a um, pointed applicator because I can kind of get exactly where I want as far as like the lip plumper you don't want to go over your lip lines with a lip plumper because it could be irritating if you've never tried a Dior lip product you're not going to understand the smell but it is like the most luxurious uh sweet with a touch of mint kind of smell it, it's different though it's not your typical mint um I don't know I don't know what it is but it is very notorious to them and super beautiful. I think that if you are interested in the Dior lip oils and you want something more creamy and glossy, um, you might like this more. I am going to keep it. And then here are the, you know, the notorious Dior lip glow oils. I have the shade Mahogany, which is my favorite. Just such such a pretty soft kind of berry brown it does have some warmth to it um and then this shade rosewood rosewood i think is would be a crowd pleaser in my opinion super shiny dior lip glow oils they're just something in between a lip gloss and a lip oil they have a little bit of the jelly kind of look that i think a lot of folks enjoy so if you really like that super shiny jelly look it these will give that to you which i think is why a lot of folks like it but if you're more just into that lip oil that kind of sinks down into the lips and feels like nothing eventually i mean i don't think this is the product for you so it just depends on what you're looking for I know a lot of people have been talking about the nyx fat uh, lip drip oils is being like dupes for something maybe the Dior lip glow oils I'm, I'm not sure this is the shade status update this to me is a completely different formula from that one way more creaminess to it just more pigment the formula has just in general a more like just more milkiness to it um you can see how much more pigment it has but that being said I typically don't like a milky lip product but I really like this. It's comfortable. I love the shade. I think this is just such a nice kind of edgy shade. I always gravitate towards these. Just kind of a light fruity scent. I think it could, I think the scent honestly could be better, but it's not offensive. And in general, as far as NYX lip oils and like lip gloss products, this is probably my favorite. And I do have other NYX lip products, lip oils and glosses that I'll talk about. But just so you know, <laughs> moving forward, this is my favorite. Let's talk Merit. Merit, Merit, Merit. These are the Shade Slicks. I have the shade, um, these are the Shade Slick like lip oils. I have the shade Taupe right there. And then I have the shade Falcon, I think. Yes. Falcon is a freaking very unique shade. Really love it. We'll be keeping Falcon just because it's, I think, something really special. I like to have them more as like reference products. Um, but I think that um, for me personally, they are just a little too slippy. I do really like these shades though. So I'm going to keep them to reference the shades. I'm going to be decluttering this gloss from Revlon. It's the shade Supernatural. This is just a straggler. It can go. Honestly, I'm going to pass along this gloss from Tower 20. It's the shade Cashew. I don't think it's bad. Um, I know a lot of people really, really like these, but I don't necessarily like this color. Um, it's just a little too orange. The formula is fine, 
but I just look for a little more heft, I think in general. So I'm going to declutter this. I'd like to pick up one of like the more jelly shades, like the translucent ones from Tower 28. Wait, and by the way, if you guys are really into like that jelly look to your lips, I have an upcoming video all about like jammy jelly kind of lip products. Um, a lot of melting balms, so I hope you're pumped about that video, so make sure you're subscribed. This is a very pretty lip gloss from Lisa Eldridge. It's the shade Muse. I think that this is a nice balance between pigment, texture, shine. No real strong scent to this one, but I just enjoy how it's able to give you like a really healthy look to your lips without it being a really gloopy, heavy, sticky lip gloss. I just find that this is going to be kind of a middle of the road crowd pleaser. And I think overall, the reason why a lot of people support Lisa Eldridge launches are for the nuanced shades. I think this shade is really beautiful. And you see how like comparatively to like the Tower 28, this, you know, for my skin tone, this is just going to work so much better than something very, very warm like this one. So I'm going to keep this. I do think it's beautiful. Stunning package, by the way, for a lip gloss. I have a range of lip plumpers here because I am doing a video comparing all of these. So I have like, oh my gosh, I have a lot, guys. I even have another one of the lip maximizers from Dior. I'm not going to give you guys all the tea yet. <laughs> You're gonna have to wait for that video. And I will be doing like before and afters in that video. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I, It's an update to my lip plumper video I did a couple years ago. I love a lip plumper, but I don't want anything that is going to literally burn my lips off. I don't want it to look like my lips are sick or unhealthy. I just want that really juicy look and a little tingle. I mean, I, I would like a tingle. I think the tingle helps. I have a couple from Essence, the what the fake. So this is the first one I tried and it's just like the clear one. Um, and it has like a little bit of a shimmer to it, but there's also this chili, which is the red. And I will give y'all the tea right now. I think it's really, really beautiful very like subtle kind of red shade but you know i always kind of lean towards this because i think it naturally helps to make the lips look more volumized i think so i am going to keep both of these for that video of course by the way those kind of just smell like a classic lip plumper same thing goes with the ones from uh, physicians formula the diamond plumpers you know what? I am gonna give you guys a little tea right now. Hopefully, if you guys appreciate this, you can give the video a thumbs up, but all right. The Diamond Plumper, specifically this one from Physician's Formula, pick this up. Pick that up over the one from Dior. Pick this up. You will not regret it. It's going to give you a very similar look. I think that this formula looks even plumper and juicier and just it has more weight to it so it naturally is going to make the lips look bigger than the one from dior it's so good these are like my hidden gem for sure love these ones from physicians formula um obviously i am keeping all of these products for that upcoming video i am trying out some buxom products i'm also trying out some plumping lip balms and other items but i couldn't include that in today's video just know that i am doing that um the Lump shots are more of like a serum kind of a lip plumper. Super interesting. Hypnotic Garnet is actually pretty similar to Clinique Black Honey. Um, maybe just a little bit more red. I'm not positive, but, but that is a damn pretty shade. More to come on that. And then I'm going to be comparing it to like the full on plumping uh, lip polishes just because this is such a classic. Um, people always go back to this. So I'll have this to compare um, for you guys, but right away the lip polishes are thicker. So if you were thinking about either, if you want something thinner, um, probably the sheer tints, the lip serums are going to be better versus the gloss. But I got to tell you, the glosses I think are where it's at, in my opinion. I also have the um, Pout Maxi Plump from Revolution. Probably should remember to compare it to the, the Pout Bomb from Revolution. This one definitely has a little bit more um, like tingle to it. So we'll be keeping these. Mix Filler Instinct uh, Lip. I gotta keep trying this one out. I kind of forget my thoughts on this one. 
the Huda Beauty Silk Ice Balm. This is such a unique product. Actually, it kind of smells, now I'm thinking about it, kind of smells like a blue popsicle, which uh, I love. If you, like, you know those, what are they called? You know those, like, American flag, like the red, white, and blue popsicles that, that some of us have in the summer? What are they called? Oh, firecracker. Yeah, the firecracker popsicles. Just gonna throw it out there. I really like this one. And then the Max from Milani, the keep it full, like Max, Max, Max plump. I also have um, the Infallible Pro Gloss Plump for the video. I wish I picked out another shade though. All right, let's talk Glossier. I really like the Glossier Formula, but both of these are quite old. So I am going to be passing them along. There's a very real possibility though that I pick up um, this shade again, the red shade. It's just a very enveloping red gloss. If you don't like a sticky product, I don't think you'll like these. This is for the not afraid of a sticky looking gloss for the sake of just an insane shine kind of product. Just in the scale of, you know, lip oils and lip glosses, I think this you know, leans a little bit stickier. But for me, I think that that cherry, strawberry, glossy effect is worth it sometimes. And this iridescent shade, I just haven't reached for in a while, even though it's so pretty. I mean, look at those champagne sparkles. They're quite old. I think this might have even been from when they initially launched. So these gotta go. The Lawless Forget the Filler Gloss. This is the shade Velvet. This is another one of those glosses, not for the faint of heart, but... If you struggle with lip lines and you want a lip product that is going to fill in like every single line of your lip, this will do it. And it does truly give you the effect of having like naturally larger lips. The shine is insane. This color is beautiful. And I think there's like a cherry kind of translucent shade that I would like. It also smells like strawberry daiquiris. Like it just reminds me of um, being a kid and going up to like the pool bar and being like, can I have a virgin <laughs> strawberry daiquiri? Like that really sugary taste. I have very fond memories of it, but yeah, that's what it smells like to me. But so, so good. Love this one. The NYX Butter Glosses, everyone loves them. And I feel like I'm the only one that isn't like crazy over them. I'm just going to keep this one because it's my favorite I've found yet. It's the shade Ginger Snap. Beautiful, really stunning shade. Actually pretty similar now that I'm looking at it to Falcon from Merit. So potential there, potential there, but it, it's the best. So I'm keeping this one and then I'm going to declutter Cinnamon Roll, which is just not, not my thing. And then also the shade Angel Food Cake, which is just a little too mauve for me, a little too cool toned. So going to be decluttering these two. The formula itself is just a little bit more of that creamy, slippy kind of gloss. It's, it's not gonna last super long, but I think that's why a lot of people like it is it has that buttery texture. But again, I just prefer something with some more heft to it. So e.l.f. came out with this. It was like their Duncan collab. I've kept this just because I love the keychain. I think I need to attach it somewhere though. I'm gonna keep it and like take it out of my ro rotation and like actually use it. I will say this gloss is pretty nice and the color is, is great. Speaking of e.l.f., I do have some of their glosses. Number one, the clear e.l.f. lacquer is a great one. It is just like effortless kind of shine to the lips. It, it's very balmy. It leans balmier rather than like oily, um, but it's still relatively lightweight. Certainly keeping this, I think it's, I think it's a great affordable clear gloss. Now this shade, the shade Cherry Bomb is different, I think, from the other formula. It, I don't know if you guys can tell, it just, I don't know. It, it has like a creaminess to it that I'm not used to with a gloss like this. I just don't know how to feel about it, you know, as I've continued to wear it. I think I'm going to declutter it. Black Cherry, I do prefer though. Um, I really, really enjoy the shade, that kind of blackened shade. So I am going to keep that one. I'm going to declutter uh, Moody. Again, it's just a little too orange for me. It's, it's not flattering. 
decluttering that one by the way these all smell like vanilla love this cookies and dreams um brain freeze lip oil lip lacquer i mean it it says it's blue but really just adds this like touch of a coolness it's very subtle i actually have like a black lip gloss from this line that i love even more i don't know where it is but i'm going to keep this for now this lip gloss i think i'm going to finally declutter um it's very similar to the last one it just is a little milkier i mean obviously you can tell it's milkier I'm going to pass that along and then i am going to declutter love bite just because again love like these kind of shades they just too bronzy for me not going to look super flattering so decluttering that i am going to be keeping this gloss from victoria beckham the posh gloss i have mine in the shade poolside i love it I also have the clear one, I think somewhere around here, geez. I love both. This is one of my favorite luxury glosses. It just hits different. No crazy fragrance to it. It is glass, which is like, you know, there is something very luxe about that. I don't know how I feel about it for like, you know, I don't want to break it, but it is really nice. I mean, Victoria Beckham is some of my favorite packaging out of any makeup brand actually, but it just, it has this softening quality on the lips and that's what I always go back to like those glosses that just make the lips look better than you know they did before soft blur and plushness so love you keeping that one do you have this gloss from Romand in the shade Sanho Crush the Glasting Water Gloss first of all look at how gorgeous that looks this is like true jelly gloss territory and it comes with a silicone paddle applicator. The scent is a little weird, I gotta say. I'm still trying this out. There you go. I mean, it really, it, it's so thin. It, it doesn't feel super glossy. It feels more like a lip oil. I think you're either gonna like that or you're not gonna like that. Um, I will say though that this is one of the most satisfying lip products I've ever looked at for sure like in the bottle just like this kind of jelly texture it's just it's it's really pretty i don't know what else to say keeping that because i do have an upcoming k beauty a lip product video the nyx this is everything lip oil is actually quite good um i just don't really reach for this much anymore but if you want a really pretty kind of baby pink lip oil i think that's I think it's really nice and it's pretty damn affordable too. Jones Road Gloss in the shade Mocha Shimmer. It's just a little clunky. I don't know. Okay. I don't know what else to say about it. it it's not bad. It's actually quite pretty, but I just don't, I, I don't reach for it. So it needs to go. It has quite a minty smell. I think, you know, you'll, again, you'll either like that or you won't. The Lifter Glosses from Maybelline. I think that these are great. I, I really do. As far as the shade Topaz, beautiful. I I think it's great. I mean, obviously these take a lot of uh, inspiration from the Fenty glosses and the shade Moon is also super pretty. I think they're, honestly, I think they're both really nice. This has a little bit less shine than the ones from Fenty. Um, so if you want a little bit less shine, I think you can go from, I think you can go with these ones from Maybelline, or if you want a little bit more shine, maybe Fenty's the way to go. But as far as an affordable lip gloss with really, really pretty shades, like neutral shimmer, but not like too shimmery, I think these are really nice. So I will be keeping those mostly, honestly, for like the makeup library. Sauce lip oils. Smell like creamsicle. This is the shade Dip. And you know what? I really like Dip. I think I'm gonna keep this for the library, but I gotta be honest, like as far as lip oils go, I'm not reaching for this one a lot. It does have this really cool quality that, I don't know, it makes the lips look more dimensional. I think it's because of this shade in general. So I will keep that, but this is like pretty new. This is bare, shade bare. It's not even open. So I think I should just pass this along. The Sigma Renew Lip Oil, I think is great. This is the shade All Heart too much of a smell it's a little bit thinner um kind of close to like the clarins lip oil probably between the one from in beauty and the one from clarins like a little bit heftier than the one from clarins but not quite as hefty as the one from in beauty this is milky gloss from nyx was not 
not my favorite. This is the shade Milk the Cocoa. And uh, it's just way too, it's too creamy, which I mean, is no fault of the product. It's just my preference. Um, way too much creamy pigment and it just looks awkward on my lips. So passing that along to clutter another one of these sheer shiny lip glosses um, from Ulta. This is the shade Scone. Again, I think that this shade is really pretty. It's just the scent, it's just the scent's a little, it smells like antibiotics, like those kid antibiotics. It's, it's weirding me out now. I really used to like them and I think I made that like mental connection and now I'm like, I can't do it. Another NYX lip gloss, this is Juicy Gloss, the strawberry one. This is actually super underrated. I don't think I've talked about this before. It's really pretty. It smells just like strawberries and great shine. I don't think people talk about these enough. I, I do think that these are really good and definitely going to keep this. This might be one of my favorite NYX products, lip products actually. Classic, the Essence Shine 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 lip glosses. The clear is beautiful. If you want hefty shine, these smell like, kind of like cherry, a touch medicinal, I'm not gonna lie. like. Not something that's too medicinal though. Like I, I can just tell it's like a fake cherry, if that makes sense. And then I also have the shade Happiness in a Bottle. I think that these are still some of the best lip glosses on the market, especially, you know, in the affordable realm. Great shine, really just makes the lips look so big and healthy. Um, great big soft doe foot applicator. You get a lot of product. I think they're like around three bucks. You just, you can't go wrong with these. These are definitely staying in my collection. Chapstick Total Hydration Tinted Lip Oils are so good, guys. This is the shade A Subtle Pink. I think it's the first shade I ever got, but actually I'm almost out of this one, I think. If you want a truly enveloping, hydrating, glossy lip oil that just has a little bit more balminess to it, please, please check these out. They look so healthy and fresh on the lips. They smell like watermelon, <laughs> really delicious watermelon scent. A total hidden gem. I've loved these for years. And they have like a brown kind of shade that's around here somewhere that I also really like. I think I am going to pass along the Item Beauty Lip Quip Lip Oil. These have a really nice scent to them actually too. Kind of like peach rings. This formula is just a little too oily for me. It's, it's not bad though. I think people that want that classic lip oil texture will actually really like this. I just, I don't reach for it much, so I'm going to pass it along. Another hidden gem I've talked about for a long time on my channel are the Juice Infused Lip Oils from Ulta. This one doesn't want to open. I don't recommend the Sweet Rose because it smells like rose, but any of the other ones, if you want that glassy, super, super shiny look, these are the way to go. I feel like these are what I wanted the one from Romand to be. Like just ultimate glossy. It has that kind of this jelly quality to it. Um, but they're still like buildable in the gloss department. Still one of my favorite um, Ulta Beauty hidden gems. Can I do an updated like Ulta Beauty hidden gems video? You guys let me know. Watercolor Rose from Undone Beauty. I haven't used this in a while. It almost, I'm putting it on my lips right now actually guys. It almost feels like water. Fruit smell feels really nice and looks really, really hydrating. I think I'm gonna pass this along. I don't think it's bad though. All right, here's what I'm going to declutter. I don't think these are gonna wanna stay up. Hold on. All right, so here are all of the lip glosses and lip oils I'm decluttering. And here are all the ones I am keeping. Was this super successful? I'm not sure. I got rid of, I would say, at least a fourth of them. Maybe next time I'll do a little bit better, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave all of these products I talked about down below. Let me know what you'd like to see me declutter next because I am still doing my spring declutter. I would love to have you back, so make sure to subscribe before you go, and I will see you in my next one.